so good morning everybody uh, so i'll present axel and i will start by uh, describing the scenario that we have been uh, envisioning and uh, this came up from uh, one of the uh, interviews with the finnish clusters that mary has been doing with uh, jorgen and uh, they interviewed uh, what's, what's the name? finnish so it's like uh, Finnish construction, construction sector trade union. Trade union, exactly. Yeah, and and um, they have been thinking uh, to to reorganize the, the vocational training for uh, construction workers because um, nowadays it takes three years the schooling, and there is uh, a little bit not enough uh, exposure to actual training or actual workplaces. So the students graduate, but they don't have uh, enough work experience. And they, they do have the uh, need to have tighter cooperation with the workplaces so the students can get the training that they need before they actually graduate and go to, to the workplaces. And one of the suggestions that came up quite strongly was that they could uh, um, make it such that there is two years for vocational training and then one year where the students go to the workplace and they work under uh, a master work, mystery, which is like master work or construction site supervisor who would then guide them uh, throughout the, the whole year. So how could AXO be used in this? Uh, they have been, think been thinking that the AXO can be used to record what the student does in the uh, construction site, so recording the tasks that they do, and uh, then the videos can be used to evaluate or analyze how closely do they do they follow or do they fit with the instructions that have been given by the, the supervisor. And then the other thing is because they need to be uh, certified at the end of the uh, the end of the training to get their qualifications, then the videos can also be used to show what they have done, so as proof of learning. And then uh, the videos can also be used in the classroom to, to show to other students what, what happens when they go to the construction site and what kind of activities or, okay. <laughs> and, and yeah, that kind of stuff. And uh, there is also, we see some potential in integrating AXO with uh, analytics, which is something that East one is, uh, has been developing. And the analytics is, uh, simply looks, uh, let's say, which content the user has been interacting with in the application, or what kind of QR codes or artifacts they have uh, interacted with, or QR codes <coughs> they have read. And then from this, there can be, um, the user can be able to trace back their work, pro work process for a task, and then be able to let's say, identify bottlenecks, so where problems are occurring or where they have differences between what the supervisor uh, tries to guide and what the student is doing. And then this can somehow support uh, the reflection for the student. And uh, we also think integration with the uh, learning toolbox could also be uh, useful depending on uh, the use cases that could be, could be uh, used by the student so for this scenario, the roadmap is still not yet clear, but it's very probable that there will be field trials. Of course, restructuring a whole country's uh, study system is, takes some time. And there is also another scenario which <coughs> we were discussing uh, yesterday in the morning, and that's uh, for one small company which does uh, quality inspections for buildings. And so the, at the moment they use, uh, they use tablets to go to the construction site and they take pictures, pictures and attach this to the BIM model, so the building information models. And then they make comments that this is not fixed properly or this we have certified this so construction can continue. And one of the use cases there could be that uh, they can use AXO to make annotated videos of the situations and attach those to the BIM model. Uh, now I jump to what has been done in AXO. There has been 
quite some work done during the spring. So as you can see, several comets uh, since March. And uh, now there is uh, several versions, in, uh, has been several versions published in Google Store. And uh, so some bugs also served, I think, in the last week. So there is more devices supported, at least more than 1,000. And there has been uh, integration with the i5 cloud. And uh, yeah, uh, so the starting Axo from other apps like the Learning Toolbox. So Gilbert and Yuka has been have been working on that. And there has also been uh, like you can import videos now from uh, the local device. So something that you have shot with a normal camera application. You can connect those to Axel. And we have also been fixing the layout and some UI. Now you also have a resizable annotation marker, so you can make it bigger or small. And then the QR code reader is also able to display a link if, if, if there is more content which has been attached to it and um, has a link to that. I think those are, yeah, those have been the, the main uh, developments. And for the development, so we still have some bugs. So for example, if you replay an annotated video, the annotations do not show. So that's something that we are working on. And uh, we have been uh, wondering if we can get some support with the iOS development. And um, yeah, so from various uh, formative evaluations, we got some feedbacks and we've been making some improvements based on those feedback. And uh, integration with uh, Social Semantics Ava has started, but this is ongoing. And um, yeah, integration, there is already, the app actually is already integrated with the learning toolbox. So you can start Axo from the Learning Toolbox application. You have one more minute. Okay. Yeah. And uh, for the future, this, uh, so as I mentioned, there is augmented reality possibility. And there we were wondering also if we can have Recom as one of our partners in that. And uh, we will have then a bridge uh, connection to, uh, let's say, GoPro or smart glasses of some kind. And then we have Axo uh, website where you can collect your videos and add more annotations and more information. And those for those two, we already have proof of, of proof of concept uh, prototypes from uh, Metropolia courses. And then this is the scenario that I just presented. So that also remains to be seen, of course. Thank you.